Hello and welcome to another tutor tutorial. So in this video, I will talk about the topic managing stress and the work-life balance. So I will talk about managing stress and work life balance so we started nature of stress stress so in this video all, all we will talk about how we can manage our stress in work or in company or in organization or anywhere we stay so how we can manage our stress to learn how job stress truly works, we must first define it and then describe the process through which it develops. The definition of stress. Stress is a person adaptive response to a stimulus that places excessive psychological or physical demands on that person. So that's the definition of stress. It's to do with psychological and physical demands in a patient. Stress process. So what is the stress what is the process of stress? So as we define, it's a uh, when you stress, it affects a physical being and also a psychological being. So therefore, let us understand what's the process of uh, stress. Much of what we know about stress today can be traced to the pioneering work of Dr. Hans Selye. Among the most important contributions were his identification of general adaption, syndrome, and the concept of interstress and distress. So what are the general adaptation or syndrome? So let us see in this uh, slide that general adaptation of syndrome or GAS describes the three stages of stress process. So first process number one is first stage is alarming, alarm. Second stage is resistant and the third stage is exhausted, exhaustion. So let us look at uh, distress and ill stress. So ill stress is a ple uh, pleasure pleasurable stress that accompanies positive event. For example, a patient may receive five thousand bonus and experience stress, decide how to spend the money. So it's more like it's. Uh, positive stress that is accompanied with positive events then the other one is distress this uh, the distress is the unpleasant stress that accompanies negative events so this both uh, uni stress and e stress and distress is different so as we see in the first uh, use stress straight out that uh, this stress is a stress that when you uh, receive money, then you have positive that uh, even that you receive money, then you don't know what to do with that money. And that's the stress that is trying to explain in the first place. Okay, the second stress is, is a stress that is coming with negative events, like you experience something that is uh, happened to you that is have negative impact in your physical and social and psychological uh, and emotional uh, effects in your uh, behavior and attitude like that. So that's the second stress that affects you. The other one is uh, individual differences and stress. So stress can affect different people in different ways. The most fully developed individual difference relating specifically to stress is distinction 
between a between type a and type b personality profiles so uh for us as people uh, stress can be affect different people in different ways so we have different types of uh, stress in us uh, depend on what we experience whether it's good or it's bad type a and type b personality profile so type a individual is extremely competitive very devoted to work and has strong sense of time agency so type b is a person is less competitive is less devoted to work and has weaker sense of time agency so these are the two types of uh, personality that uh, people have some uh, individual are competitive and the other one is not competitive some people are not devoted to their work and some are not uh, devoted to work hardness so what is hardness hardness is about uh, patients ability to cope with stress so uh, it's a term used to describe uh, a patient when when you try to cope with a stress in his life so a patient able to cope with stress that's the first uh, nation of uh, hardness hardness people with hardy patient they have an internal locus of control are strongly committed to activities in their lives and view change as opportunity for advancement and growth so this that uh, people have that is hardness personal ability so optimism so what is optimism so the optimism is the extent in which a uh, person sees life in relatively positive or negative ways is glass half empty or half full in general optimistic people tend to handle stress better than pessimistic people common causes of stress so here we will try to understand the uh, causes of stress why people usually stress why uh, stress uh, always uh, happen to individuals there are two broad uh, categories of st- uh, stresses this uh organizational uh, stressor and the life stressor the category of stress consequence are in are individual consequence and organizational consequence and burn out so what these are the two causes one is in the organization that makes the individual or a employee stress and the other one is his personal life So causes of stress are uh, organizational stress. One is uh, tax de- task demand, occupation, security and overloaded, fiscal demand, temperature, office design, role, role demands, ambiguity, conflict. Interpersonal demand is growth prices, leadership style, personalities. So uh, this is one first category of stress that is one is task demand physical demands internal uh, interpersonal demands and role demands so these are the four aspect of uh, organizational uh, stress the uh, four things that cause a uh, person in organization to stress Organizational stress are various factors in workplace that can cause stresses. So this is a simple definition. Task demand. Task demand are stress associated with the specific job a patient perform. Some occupation patients are by nature more stressful than others. So that's task demand. 
most and least stressful jobs the top most stressful jobs surgeon commercial airline pilot photojournalist advertising account executive real estate agent physician general practice reporter newspaper and physical assistant top less stress jobs is accurate dietitian computer system analyst statistician astronomer mathematician historian software engineer so we look at role demand a role demand set of expectation behave as it with a particular person in a group of organization such as it has both formal and informal requirement role ambiguity arise when the role is unclear role conflict occurs when messages and cues for others about the role are clear but contradictory or mutually exclusive role overload occurs when expectation for the role exceeding the individual capabilities fiscal demand the fiscal demands of a job are its fiscal requirement on a job on a worker this demands a function of physical characteristics of setting and physical task the job involves so the last one is interpersonal demands a final set of organizational stress consists of three inter- interpersonal demands group pressure leadership interpersonal conflict group pressures may include pressure to restrict output pressure to conform to the group's norms or so forth life stressor so what is life stress life stress in organization setting also can be influenced by events that take place outside the organization so a uh, life stressor is a stressor that is not caused by the organization stresses or by the company but is an individual so life change is homels and he first develop and popularize a notion of life change as social stress any meaningful change in a patient 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 or work situation to is life trauma life trauma is similar to life change but it has narrower more direct and short term focus so we look at the what are the consequences of stress so a stress can have number of consequences consequences as you know if the stress is positive the result may be more energy enthusiasm and motivation stress can produce uh, individual consequences or organizational consequences in burnout so we will look at the consequences of uh, stress so what is the consequences of individual stress the individual stress uh, consequences of stress then are the outcome that mainly affect the individuals so the stress that is affect its patient the behavioral consequences the the of stress may harm the patient and the stress of others psychological psychological uh, consequences of stress lead to a person mental health and well-being and the other one is medical consequences medical consequences stress affects a person physically So what is the uh, organizational uh, consequences clearly any of the individual consequences just discuss can also affect the organization so first one is performance one clear organizational consequence to too much stress is decline in performance three uh, second one is withdrawal withdrawal behavior also can result from stress or organization that took most important forms of withdrawal behavior are 
absentis absentism and quitting. The other one is attitude. Another direct organizational consequence of employee stress related to the attitudes. La the last one is burnout. Another question of stress has clear implications for both people and organizations is burnout. Now, in this uh, slide, we will be talking about managing stress in the workplace. How can we manage stress? So, there are other factors that we consider and we try to do to reduce and to eliminate or uh, to remove stress in workplaces. So, given the stress is a widespread and so potential disruptive organization, it follows that people and organizations should be concerned about how to manage it more effectively. So, organizational stress and individual coping mechanism. So, we will look at this. this. So, what we need to do to reduce stress uh, is we need to do these things. One is, from individual perspective, uh, individuals should exercise. Uh, two is re uh, relaxing. Uh, individual must uh, manage their time. In the soul, individual must uh, manage their role and uh, support groups. Okay, in institution programs, we have uh, work design, work schedules, cultural supervision, Colla collateral programs, stress management programs, health promotion programs, sabbaticals, other and other programs. So uh, these are the things that usually uh, institution are doing in the workplace to reduce stress. And also individual can do in his own life to reduce stress by an exercise uh, and in the institution program they usually decide to work and work schedule to reduce stress. So individual coping stress strategies, many strategies for helping individual manage stress have been proposed. First one is exercise. So what how to reduce stress we need to exercise as individuals. So exercise is one of a method of managing stress. People who exercise regularly are less likely to have heart attack than inactive people. Relaxation, a related method of managing stress is relaxation. We noted at the beginning of chapter that coping with stress requires adaptation. Third one is time management. So the time management is often recommended for managing stress. The idea is that many daily pressures can be easy and eliminated if a patient does a better job of time managing time. Role management, somewhat related to one time management, is the idea of role management in which the individual actively works to avoid overload ambiguity and conflict. Last one is support groups. The final method for money stress is to develop ourselves. Organization coping strategies, organizational coping strategies. Organizations are also increasingly realizing that they should be involved in managing their employment, employee st stress. Two basic organizational strategies. One is institutional programs. Institutional programs for managing stress are undertaken through established organizational mechanisms. So collateral programs in addition to institutional effort aim at reducing stress, many organizations are turning to collateral programs. So these are the two uh, strategies that organizations doing in the organization to reduce the stress in their companies, stress in their employees, 
uh, and stress in their work environment. Working life uh, negates a fundamental working life uh, relationship. So work life relationship can be just categorized in any number of ways, include relationship between dimensions of person's life and the personal person life. Balancing work life linkage is difficult due to the dual demands of work and life. Important to recognize potential trade off in advance. Important to maintain a long term perspective. Important to decide what to value and what the trade off will cost. So, this is the end of the slide. Uh, I thank you so much for watching and listening. Uh, I hope you understand and please subscribe to my channel, like and hit the bell icon so that when I upload videos you will, receive, you will uh, notify and continue learning with these uh, tutorials. Thank you so much.